Okay, this is the red rope challenge where you tie 14 knots in less than one minute. And I'm going to show you three families that will get you there. The first family is the U, where both ends are facing up. And the first knot is a simple overhand knot. I'm going to start with the right one, which is important to know later. So right over left, there's your overhand knot. I'm going to do that again, repeat that, for a double overhand knot. That is your second knot. The third knot is the surgeon. Now I went right over left to start, so now I'm going to go left over the right on the top for a surgeon knot. Now, I'm going to, for the fourth knot, I'm going to pull off the top, unravel one of the bottom ones, and again, since I went right over left to start it, I'm going to go left over right for my square knot. Now, when you get this far to get to your fifth knot, we're going to go to the sheet bin. And when you do a square knot, you're going to have two ends and hanging out. You want the one that's coming in towards you. So since this one is coming towards me, I'm going to take that as my new working end. There's an X at the bottom. I open that up and take this working end and stick it through for my sheet bend. Okay, I'm not going to dress it up because I'm just showing you the knots to get you through this. All right, I'm going to unravel that. That is my first family. All right, the second family is going to be my cane to the right. You leave about 12 to 15 inches on the right side. There's three knots in the second family. So we're going to do a half hitch. You take the working end, run it behind the, this end, and go up through the loop you just started. That's a half hitch. Now you're going to repeat the same thing below that for a double half hitch. So send the working end behind and through that loop there for a double half hitch. Now to get to the eighth knot, and the third knot in this family, undo that one and take that working end and run it through the top loop to go on top of that one that you ran through previously. And we're going to take the working end and we're going to do a, a half hitch below this. So run it behind that rope again through the new loop that I just formed and you have a taut line hitch. Again, I'm not going to dress it because just for instructional purposes I want to move you through. Alright, that is the third knot in the second family, the eighth knot altogether. Okay, the third family is a cane to the left. So you again about 12 to 15 inches on the left. We're going to start with a clove hitch. You're going to take the long end in your right hand and you're going to twist it towards you so you have a loop here. Now you're going to repeat that again. So take this rope, twist it towards you to form a loop and now put that right loop behind the one in front of you and you have a clove hitch. Now we're going to go into the sheep shank and we're going to repeat that. So we're going to take the rope in the right hand, twist it towards you, and run it behind so you have three loops hanging off of your thumb. Now the sheep shank is a little tricky so I'm going to turn this around like this so it was on my thumb. Basically I'm going to take my right hand and put the outside loop on that. I'm going to take my left hand and run it through the other outside loop and you know you've got this middle loop. So my right hand is going to take the far end of that loop. My left hand is taking the inside part of that loop and you're going to pull them through those loops like a bow tie. Okay, that is your sheep shank. Now, to get to the, the slip knot is very easy. You're going to, the right hand is going to go down. You're going to release this knot here, pull the short end and you've got a slip knot. Now, we're going to go to a bowlin, so you take in the short end, make sure you go through the back of your slip knot. Come through the back, and you're going to hold on to your end that just is making a new loop. Let go of that loop, change hands, take your long end, and pull. That's your bowlin. Okay, now we only have two more knots to go. Okay, the next one is a timber hitch, and you curve the rope and put your wrist somewhere in the middle. Um, you can even have the knot end a little closer if you want. And to do the timber hitch, you're going to wrap your arm all the way around the rope so it's twisted on the bottom. You're going to do that one more time. You need at least a double twist to make a timber hitch. Now I'm going to reach around, grab that long working end, and pull it up through this loop all the way out and I formed a timber hitch. And my last and final knot is the figure eight. So I'm going to start in the back. You can start in the front. All you got to remember is you got to wrap it all the way around the rope. So if, since I began in the back, I ended in the back, pull up through my loop on the top, and I've got a figure eight, and that is the red rope challenge.